Star is a sci-fi thriller film uh, about agents who are developed uh, for, by the government to tackle crime using implants in their brain to detect uh, a criminal's actions just before it's about to happen and prevent it. But uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, um, they were ordered to stop, so a hunter is sent out to kill him. So the idea behind it is, is to kind of depict something that, the, that people don't want, uh, that we're afraid of, and show the prejudice of, of human society against something that's different. So that's the idea behind it. But the hunter, his name is Cade Hawks, he himself was actually one of these these agents. Well, he wasn't quite an agent, but he was implanted with the same technology, but he, he doesn't realise this. And he he's in the last hunt he's knocked out he doesn't he wakes up two two years later and he sent he sent back out he wants to find this one last person he find, he finds out there's one more person that he didn't kill so he he feels it's his job to to finish the job um so he sets out to, to for to, for one more but um during the course of of the film we discover that this this last um agent has kind of turned from the well was meant to be the good side. Um, it's got to the bad side, and this may be due to some factors that the prejudice that the people she kind of maybe got the idea that if they don't care about me, what should I care about them? This is never revealed in the movie, but uh, she's gone to the bad side. She's working for local crime bosses, so Kate Hawks, the hunter, has to deal with her gang as well, and also the fact that um, the government is hunting him for the fact that he has the same technology in his brain, only it's it's a level higher than the star agents. So um, he used to deal with them and the crime lords and finished the job that he didn't finish in the first place because the explosion, so only the last two, two of the last three got killed and only one left. So he feels he has to finish the job. That's his, his personal personal goal for the movie. That's what drives him on. Um, and it culminates in the, in the end where during the course of the movie he has um, developed maybe conscience, maybe he feels guilty that he, he has to kill this person because it's a different world, it's two years on, things have changed, uh, people have kind of forgotten about the star agents. So he has to choose, uh, should he kill this last star agent, should he let her live, and um, he also has to deal with um, the newfound discovery that he may have something in his brain that um, his friend, Dr. Antobino, kind of already knows. And um, so, uh, basically he has to deal with his own secrets, and decide whether um, he should lead his conscience to be guilty if he kills the last time region.